petition for full custody of your niece, Sierra Rose. She's going to swing by the office, pick up the documents, file them with the court before the deadline. So we'll speak soon. Okay about this? Yeah, I'm fine. I meant what I said. You're doing the right thing, Marasco. I know. I will be a better parent to Sierra Rose than Skylar ever could be. And if I have to be both mom and dad to that baby. You don't want me to destroy the DNA results? I went to the hospital earlier and I saw her. Sierra? She's getting stronger every minute. Baby's a fighter just like somebody else I know. I just want her to be all right. Well, she had the surgery, so there's a, it's a really good chance. No, it, it's more than that, you know? I did everything I could to protect that baby when Stacy was carrying her. I mean, even before I knew if she could be, she could be yours. So you're... You're saying you're ready to find out whether or not you're Sierra's father? So if you want Stacy's baby to be raised as a Buchanan, sign the prenup so we can get married and get the ball rolling. Of course, I would want you to sign anything without reading it first and have a lawyer look it over if you wish, but I'm telling you, this is the final draft. There's no negotiating. I think it's a pretty good deal if I do say so myself. So, Miss Andrews, it's all up to you. I'll be getting back to you. Whereas the parties are about to contract marriage, what does that mean? Whatever the DNA test says, I'll deal with it. Yeah, well, there's nothing to deal with if it says I'm not the father of Stacy's baby. I'm just saying if you are, I'm not going anywhere. I'll support whatever decision you make, Oliver. I, um, I need to get some air. Thanks. Need anything else? You are such a dog! Ma'am, do you need anything else? Stop mentally undressing every good-looking guy you see. What can I say? It's been a really long time since I've had sex. Yeah, you and me both. Look, just don't get distracted, okay? You still have to sign that form so you can marry Clinton. Raise my little girl. Sign it? I can barely read it. It's a prenup. It just says blah, blah, blah. You get zilch if you divorce Clinton. Zilch? As in nothing, does it really say that? Probably. Just stay married, the guy and I'll never have to find that out. Oh, yeah, right. After the IDs, we'll just live happily ever after. Why not? Are you serious? Name one couple you know that stayed together forever. I thought you said I've been drinking too much coffee. It's tea. Variety's the spice of life, right? <laughs> but it will keep you on your feet long enough to ensure that Skyler never gets his hands on that baby in there. You really unloaded on him earlier. Yeah, well, right now that jerk is in front of an ethics committee to answer charges about stealing a drug that he might have used on Stacy. He has no business raising a kid. What? Okay, don't get me wrong. I am totally grateful to you for being here. What? Are you sure you want to be in the middle of this mess? I mean, it could get ugly and personal. Surprise! Shane! What, what, Don't be mad. I made Mo bring me here after school. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not mad. I mean, it must be hard for you with me here around the clock and your dad, too. I'm fine. I just wanted to see my new sister. Cousin. <laughs> Can't get used to that. All this time, I thought I was going to be your brother. You might still get that chance. I want to adopt Aunt Stacy's baby. you're gonna get custody of my baby then sign the prenup you can figure a way out of it later we're not exactly legal eagles but one just flew in go get him tiger you're a 
hotshot lawyer, right? <laughs> sure. Oh, great. So you can translate this? Can you tell me what it means? Can you afford my hourly rate? Depends. Can you afford mine? <laughs> Do I need to refer you to uh, Section 5902 of the uh, penal code? Could you relax? I'm just going to sit next to you. Let the whole joint think you could bag a girl like me. That's got to be worth at least what you make an hour, right? <laughs> Sounds very tempting, but... Uh, oh, come on. Just use your powers for something good. Fine. It's fine. I suppose I could take a quick look while I wait for my... Is that a boy? Oh, prenuptial agreement. Mm -hmm. Congrats. You're marrying Clint Buchanan? Thanks for coming. Uh, you know, it's not really fair of me to talk about moving forward and not be completely open with you. Oh. That's probably just Roxy again. You know when you ignore her, she just goes to one. <laughs> okay. Hey, John, you home? Ah, uh, you better go ahead. Go ahead. It's okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, one minute. Hey, I, I'm sorry to bother you at home. I really need some advice. Ah, uh, I'm... Is this a bad time? Actually, we're right in the middle of something. You know what, John? It's okay. It's all right. I've got to get dressed for work, and uh, we can finish up later. You sure? Yeah, hey, Fish. What's on your mind, Fish? What would you do if you found out you were going to be a father? It's a pretty standard prenup. You get a small lump sum if the marriage dissolves within a year. And a little more for each year the marriage continues. Look, I know he's your type, but concentrate. That agreement didn't sound so bad. Hmm. There is an infidelity clause. Sorry, what? Uh, an, an infidelity clause. Infidelity is... Yeah, I know what it means. What exactly does the clause say? Well, should you ever be unfaithful to Mr. Buchanan, you wind up with uh, absolutely nothing. I don't get it. I thought you were mad at Skyler for lying that Dad was the father of Stacy's baby. But now you want to raise her with him? No. Not with him. Instead of him. As my own child. But I know this decision affects you, too. So you've already decided? Well, nothing's final yet, buddy. You're just... Your mom wants your little cousin to have a great, loving home. And you know what they say. If, if you want something done right... You gotta do it yourself. Yeah. Honey, okay, it, if everything turns out the way I hope, Sierra Rose will be sharing your home too. And I need you to be honest about how you feel about that. Well, I was expecting her to come home with us anyway. Well, with Dad, when we thought he was the dad. So, I'm cool with it. But what about Dad? What about me? Well, no offense, Mom. Aunt Stacy sucked in a lot of ways. You know, you hated her most of the time. <laughs> you hate Skylar, too. So, how are you gonna feel about a baby that's half Aunt Stacy and half Skylar living with me and Mom? Why, well, are you gonna be a father? Uh, no. Why, well, maybe. You know, I'm not sure. You see, there's there's this baby, and and she could be mine. You and Kyle in line to adopt? Uh, well, we've talked about the possibility of raising this child. I think a kid would be lucky to have you as a parent. Okay, but what if some people don't have what it takes to be a parent? I know that. Yeah, there's some people that shouldn't be parents for a lot of reasons, but you're not one of those people. You're going to be a really good dad. But you know, the decision to have a kid, it's not just yours. You, you're with someone. Well, yeah, Kyle's fine with the idea of us raising a kid. Yeah, but that's good, because it, it's important for both people to be on the same page. Yeah, but what if one of those people isn't sure they're ready to be a parent? Assuming that there's a choice, then he probably shouldn't have the kid.